Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Commodities Report and we'll look at Bitcoin first. Um, I think I might just have a look at um, at uh, CME's, the um, the futures market here. We can see that the open interest uh, here is still uh, extremely uh, high, um, which is good. And I uh, just want to check on the um, ETFs as well. So this is the Bitcoin ETF uh, inflows is the big word at the moment with these. So, um, you know, we're seeing BlackRock has obviously got the largest then followed by Fidelity. So we're still seeing, uh, still seeing uh, inflows of, you know, $10 billion uh, into these markets. So there's nothing decreasing at the moment with all this. So the trend itself is pretty sort of solid. Um, in terms of, uh, this is the total market cap here. And uh, same count as Bitcoin really. So we've got wave one and two here. And then we've also got wave one and two here. And the sort of, one of the questions is, is that, it's looked pretty obvious to put wave three and four here. That's one way to look at it. I'm a little bit, um, I've got two, um, uh, two thoughts or one thought about this one's enough. <laughs> um, is that the length of this intermediate wave one here is this length here and it's still not quite there just yet. You know, these, these two are the same length. And if I was, you know, looking at a, a third wave here, I would want this third wave to be a little bit longer. So I think this third wave is a little bit further up here. Um, but you know, I could certainly be wrong. Um, and we'll need to put this down, uh, down here further. Uh, Kitty upon, let me just check on, um, let me just check on this here. I think Kitty upon still has, um, has Bitcoin, um, in that boat. Yeah. So if I go to the daily chart here, so he's got one and two here and then one, two, three, four and five. Yeah, so he's, yeah, so he's, um, I've got mine a little bit further up. So he's slightly, slightly different there on, on that. Um, but you know, the main thing here is that we're going through this particular ABC correction. So we should just drill into this a little bit. So let's just do. That. Um, let me just have a look at, I just want to have a look at. BTC dominance for a moment. That's just want to see if the trends in check here. So this is the low down here, and we've been counting up as one, two, three, four, five, four, one and two, one and two. So it's still it's all good. This um this the, so Bitcoin will continue to dom dominate, and that means that the ranges um, should be uh should be good. Um, this move here is corrective, so that that top will be taken out. So that looks impulsive here. So it looks like it will continue to, uh, to move up there, which is, uh, which is nice. So I just want to have a look at Bitcoin now, just I'll go to another charting program here. So this is, this is, um, so this is a slightly different <coughs> count. We've still got wave one and two here, <coughs> but then from wave two here, I've got one and two here. And from two up to three here, where Kitty Upon uh, has got this as wave three here. He could certainly be right. Um, I just find it a little bit small. So I was just trying to find another count that would see it a bit larger as one and two here, then one and two here, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third, fourth and fifth for the third. And then looking for an ABC pattern uh, here. And uh, the 38.2 percent is the top of this box, and the way four of one lesser degree is the bottom end there. So it's probably if you want to have a long trade, you'll need to be long above this uh, top here for that. And we can look at being up at 80 after this correction, but otherwise, we'll look at one more move to the downside here, and then we'll look for a trade once we've got an impulse wave, a five wave structure to the upside. And we could probably look for a bit of a classic trading levels pattern here as well, in, in all of this as well. So, I just want to go to the crypto index, the top 10. So, this is the correction here, just drilling in on 50. 50, um, 
ticks here. So we've got wave three up here. We were looking down here as an ABC for the A wave and then uh, yesterday or whenever it was, we're looking as an A and a B and a C up here. We haven't breached that top there. So we just need to update this here. So just bear with me a moment. Why well, just one, two, three, four, five. That would be one and two here, I'd imagine. And this would be one, two, three, four, five. So we could probably get away with one, two, three, there, four here. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. We could do that for five. We could put that as three. Looks pretty good for a fourth wave there, get a bit overlappy, and we could bring this down here. So we need five waves down. We need to take that low out here. So yeah, we're on the, this is pretty much on the right track here for this. Now, wave fours can be, you know, complicated and all those sort of things. So we need to be a little bit mindful, but um, everything said and done, we should be down here somewhere. The 1650, it's kind of in terms of the trading level as a part of group two, but when I look at it um, with stocks and that, I kind of treat it as a medium level. That's why I got it in that dark line there. But uh, yeah, we should see move up um, after that. Now, wave force can get a bit ugly. So <clears throat> just, you know, I've got to give you the bad news too. So if it's going to get ugly, then we'll need to look at all of this down here as the A wave. And then we can expect the B wave to come back up 50, 60%. So back up here somewhere, a little pocket, 62 to 65. And we could put that B wave over here. It's probably not the case, but um, it's good to have a bit of uh, news like this. Um, and then another leg here. So basically it just doubles in size and corrections are pretty good for that type of thing, you know. And then we could go up from that point. Uh, we could also turn into a triangle too if this is in three waves here by the way um but anyway this is this so what we'll do is we will look to go long but we'll also be mindful to try to figure out if we're going to get five waves whoops a daisy if we're going to get five waves up to here and we'll be able to know that from looking at the first wave and the third wave in here but if we get if we're going to get three waves at this point then we know that that's corrective at that point so five or three to this point. So we should be able to work it out as we go uh, within the the uh, the ratios of that particular structure. But yeah, anyway, that's a long story short. That's basically where we are at the moment. The A, the B and the C wave coming down here. So <clears throat> we'll start to look for some long trades. And and of course, all the little all the little tokens will um, will tag along for the journey uh, as well. So we don't need to uh, look at that uh, at the moment, but um, yeah, so that's where it is. So for Bitcoin here, allowed to come down, you could probably buy it down here at 60, you know, 61, 62 is quite a good little number in, in here, I reckon. Uh, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> we might be able to pick it up a little bit earlier, we'll see. But one way to do this is just to say to yourself, is that 65? Is that the support yet? And for support, it takes a little while. You see how that pushed up here and then came back? And then you could take the highs out here. That's the safe trade because it's being tested at that point, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, a little classic trading levels pattern uh, in that space is really what you're looking for. Um, but we'll be all over that as well. We want to get uh, some trades into that. Um, okay, so that... Bitcoin. I don't need to go any further than that. I don't think on that note. So uh, I'll leave that there. And that means we can come over to the dollar. So we'll just go to the bonds first. Um, so this is the weekly chart for the bonds. And we've got this five wave structure down here. So we're looking for a simple A, B and C wave here and then down again. So <clears throat> the yields will be doing the opposite. The dollar will be doing the opposite as well. This particular move in, in here is getting a little bit complicated. And, you know, uh, wave fours and wave Bs, they tend to be uh, the complicated uh, uh, patterns <clears throat> well can be so I mean it's always good to expect them to be a bit like that so I mean if we look at this on the daily chart here for a moment so we've had the um, <clears throat> the RBA they, they they kept rates the same the Bank of Japan as, as you know of changing uh, theirs I'm not sure what the Swiss has done I don't know if they are today or tomorrow 
um, the SBN, uh, SNB, and we've got the Feds to not to next session um, having their outcome. But in terms of the patterns here, um, we may from this B wave up here, we may have a little five waves down breaking the low there, and that could be the end of it. Or that five waves down here is going to be wave one, two, three, four, five coming down a bit further. This particular move coming down here is actually in three waves, but there was a rollover in contracts here, I think. So that might have been a little bit sort of part of it or whatever. This move up here is definitely in three waves. So I'm not sure to put wave A over here or here um, as an A and a B and a C or WXY actually. Um, so <clears throat> look, it's complicated here. I just need more time uh, with, with this, but obviously solving this riddle in here, I mean, we sh it, this is corrective and it'll come down and then, you know, eventually go up, up to here. Um, in the meantime, uh, if we look at the, just go on to the weekly and look at the, um, uh, I don't need to go there just yet. Let's go to the, Ten year yields here, so this is it here. So right from the get go here, we've got on the weekly one, two, three, four, five up here, and then the ABC here doing the doing the mirror opposite. So um, we're heading up into this B wave. So this is the you know the bonds in reverse here, and this is also the dollar as well. Um, so the Dixie, but we could also drag in this you know. Uh, the Swiss is pretty weak. All the all of you know you can go through all of them, but none of them are actually sort of confirming just yet. So from the so basically we'll be looking for some sort of move here. I'm just don't know if we get a little five waves here and then we then we turn down, or we're going to get um, one, two, three, four, five, and take us a little bit higher at that point. That's what I'm unsure of, and that's the same thing with the dollar as well. So. Um, so this is it on the daily chart here. We talked about it yesterday. We can see here that we've got one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it might might turn on the Fed's comments. Do you know what I mean? Um, don't know, but we, you know, this is our target box here, and we're kind of getting there. Um, so we'll just have to see. I don't really, you know, well, even a day or two after the Feds have made their comments, we'll see where the real flow is at that point. You know, but yeah, this move up here, this will sort of tie into. Uh, to the dollar as well. So um, uh, let's just have a look at the dollar. So this is just in, in simple terms, the Dixie here. So we've got um, this move up here. I, I can see that it could be counted as five waves and it could be counted as three waves. It could also be counted as a WXY. So when I can see that it can be counted in different ways, it becomes a little bit useless. The same move down here as well. We could count this down as, as wave A and wave B and C here. We could have counted down as one, two, and three and looking for wave four here and then wave five. If we had five waves down, we'd know where we are. But now we've got three waves. So that sort of opens up a can of worms in that, you know, can we push up to here and then push down again? Is that the go? Or do we look at this, you know, I mean, we'll just wait to see how the yields and the bonds uh, play out with, with all of this as well. It's sort of reluctantly going up there. It hasn't moved as much, you know, as the bonds and the yields have. Well, the bonds haven't moved that much, but the, uh, the, the yields have moved along. So we'll just see, we'll just see what happens after the Fed's meeting there. Um, with this, where's my other little chart here? Um, it will push up, the dollar will push up further. I'll just have a look at my other chart just to go to the intraday basis. I could use the euro as well, but I won't bother with that. Um, so I mean, I can look at all, all the other currencies until the cows come home, but it's still not going to give me anything. I've got to go off the big markets. Um, so this is the, the Dixie here. We've got this A, B and C here. And I was just looking at this um, earlier this morning. I wasn't quite sold on it yet. Um, looking at one and two and one and two and three and four to the upside, then five for the third and the fourth and the fifth up here, you know. But this is where we'd have a look at the Swissy and the, and the Euro and all those guys too. That could come in a little bit handy. But look, the it, this count coming up here could be wrong, but the, the takeaway here, right, whichever way you want to sort of dress this up, is that we've got wave one, two, three, four, Five. So in one way or another, we have five waves here. So that means that we're impulsing to the upside. So we can expect it to move up further. It could just be counted in different ways. That's all.
I could go an A and a B and one, two, three, four, five, but even still, it's still going to go higher, um, you know. But I'm thinking it's got to go something like this. I think that's kind of it at this point, you know. Anyway, dollar up for the uh, for the short term and the yields up and the bonds down and, you know, this, that's it. So, um, and you can drag all the currencies uh, into that space. Um, okay, so that's that. And then we'll have a look at the uh, gold market. So with the gold here, we're just, just keeping it really simple. I won't go into the bigger picture. I'll just check what... Uh, uh, Sammy's done as well here. So we've got wave four that's been developing here. So we'll see wave five push to the to the upside here. I'll just check on my other chart here because we're looking at this here as basically from here as wave one and two and three and four, a little bit messy here, a bit working. Um, so we're still looking for one more move to the upside here. We could call the top in uh, here, but then, um, you know, we've got some long trades in here. We'll We'll look at taking some of it off the table, but we'll just see what we get here. If we get a corrective pattern, then we get, then we'll need to be, uh, then we'll need to be long again over here, or as soon as we can recognise that this will be corrective rather than uh, bearish coming down further. So we don't know this space here just yet. We'll have to look at this structure, and then we'll know what to do at that point. But if we can get from here to here, that's that's fine um, at that point. And uh, let's just have a quick look at silver here. I haven't seen that for a little while. So, yeah, so it's just... Um, so, just remove this from here. I'll just check what um, what we've done with... Um, just bear with me here. Um, where are we here? This one, uh, not stock check. I could do it here, I think. I'll just go to here. Just bear with me. I've just got to go to commodities here. Um, we've got a new analyst for ASX charts here too, by the way. So we'll be covering 50 charts there. Um, <clears throat> so we just want to have a look at, at gold first. Just check out. Yeah, well, he's got the same. Oh, he's got it going further up here as well on the four hour. So, yeah. So, yeah, but this one, two, three, four, five, we've been long in here. So we'll sort of exit up here somewhere and, and we'll sit back and then we'll go into this one as well. We should get a classic trading levels pattern across this level here. So that should be pretty sort of simple. I've like got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. He's still, okay. Yeah. I mean, we could take it much higher than this as well. It's not, that's not an issue with all of this, by the way. Um, but one step at a time, that's all good. Now just have a look at uh, what he's got with silver here as well, just to, in fact, we'll just use these charts a bit here while we're here, have a look at a few things. Yeah, the same sort of pattern, that one, two, three, four, five. Here. I mean, silver's bigger pattern here is completely different, you know what I mean? So, um, but the, 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 the thing here to understand is that this, this, this movement across here has got overlapping wave structures. So it's bullish corrective. So that means we will see new highs. And also too, it's an accumulation process. So, um, you know, it may not pull back that far over here. So we'll need to be sort of to get back on that, uh, train, uh, reasonably. Uh, quick. Um, so that's that. I will just have a look at, um, I'll just use this, these charts here for, uh, copper. So it's got copper coming up to here. I mean, yeah, I was kind of looking at this as one, two, three, four, five, a little bit further up, but that's all good too. WXY, that's so good. It's okay. I mean, it's just that this counted in, could also be counted in five waves as well. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. We did have a trade in, um, we did have a trade going off in, um, uh, in copper stocks, which we've just exited, but I do want to have a look at this. So this southern copper here that we're in, <clears throat> we, we exited that at 
well, just above the, the 100, but that was the target area. So it's pulling back now. It's going to stick to the 100. One is the strongest number in the market. So it's not going to go anywhere for a little while. It's going to go up and down and all the rest of it. But once it matures, we'll be able to see it. And then we can go long in that again. But I just want to have a quick look at these guys. Just want to see if I can see anything that's um, worth noting and looking at at this point. Okay, well, I like that, but that we need to wait for that. Okay, I just want to have a bit of a look there for that. I just want to go back to the base metals now. <clears throat> um, so we've got copper there. I just want to have a look at... Um, I want to have a look at... Um, <clears throat> I want to have a look at uh, uranium. So it's pretty straightforward. We've been in this correction here for a while. Yeah, an A and a B and a C. I've got the same count as um, me here. So wave four. So we'll look to buy down here in this uh, ETF here. We've got some longer term positions for some of the older folks over um, over here for this. For that's okay. We'll just have a look at um, iron ore. Iron ore because um, iron ore here. Yeah, still got further to go down uh, here for this. So uh, quite a bearish case um, for iron ore, which would it kind of makes sense a little bit, really. Um, with China, <clears throat> you know, they've got their own mind in, in Africa at the moment and um, in Central Africa and uh, pretty high grade. Um, or there as well. So they, I don't think that comes online until 2025, though, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that. And um, while we're here, we'll just have a look at at, at uh, crude and uh, crude and um, <clears throat> so just on the bigger picture here, um, we've got WXY moving up here, which kind of makes sense. Um, we're looking at sort of um, you know eighty two to eighty four over here for this. So it could push up a little bit further. We had that um, Exxon Mobil trade as well and crude here. So I think we moved the stop up on this too, didn't we? Where was that entry? But just looking at this chart here for Exxon Mobil, we've got one and two here. And I've got this as one, two, three. Through, I could probably drop that in over here actually. I still need three and four here and, and three and four over here. So look, there's there's a bit more space to go up here for, for this. I'll just check the I'll just check the entry for um for that. I'm just not quite sure where it is. It's not a pending position, it's open. And um, I'll just check, 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 check. I think it's on this page. 104 and 113, 104 and 113. So I'll just put that in here. So I've got it there roughly 104 somewhere in here. And this is it. Oh, that's a bit high up here, but that's not, that's not right. Let me just double check that. I definitely need to change that. Oh, that's just the current price, I was going to say. Um, stop 104. Okay, so I need to move that stop up here. But I don't want to take it that far. I can go 106. I'll update that uh, in due course. Um, but yeah, um, the main point here is that this... this um, this is sort of on its last legs here. So we'll get this, we'll get this, we'll get this, we'll get this at least. So we'll be up at the 120. We can target that up at the 120 somewhere. But this is a Lessio's trade, so I'll let him handle this situation. But, I mean, I just wanted to look at it because if this is going to move up here further, right, because we can see wave one and two here, right, we can see the third wave, but we can't see the fourths yet, you know. Um, we can't see those fourth waves yet. So it's still got time here. So that means that this move, um, uh, where are we here? Commodities. This move here still got further to go up here, you know. So be a little bit mind. We'll be a bit mindful about how far this can um, travel 
up here. I, I know that the 84 sort of area has got the 61.8% uh, area, so we'll be a bit mindful of that. But these sorts of things can be counted in different in different ways here. You know, that's the thing. So we can look at this as one with an ABC for two here, and then three, four, five up here for this. So we have one and two here with an ABC pattern here as well. So they can be they can be moved up. So we'll just keep an eye on it for that particular trade. And then we come over to um, to uh, I might just have a look at wheat as well, but uh, uh, we'll have a look at natural gas, which is we've also got short positions on this as well. So yeah, so we've got short positions in here. So we're going into one and two here. So we still got you know we've still got further to go down we'll actually look to add two positions on the break of of these lows here to see if we can get a second low to to short on there as well for this so that's okay i just want to have a look at some of the grains on soft don't need to look at coffee cocoa we can just have a quick look at we might be able to catch that wave four back and the other one was wheat which was sort of finishing off i don't need to look at these other ones um wheat was the one that was bottoming uh, still got a bit more on the four hour chart yes yeah, so we've got a bit more here so we'll pay attention to to this this here so, i mean supplies must be running a bit low after the ukraine situation i know that um yeah anyway that's a long story but yeah we've still got a couple of weeks to go here Alrighty. um i think that sort of covers it so i'll we'll leave it at that no need to look at um i think lithium um here is just in a rally at this point and we know that nickel um nickel may have a move to the upside i'm just trying to find my nickel chart uh here so we know that the nickel situation is that china is um <clears throat> is uh flooding the market with Indonesian uh, nickel and the US and Australia are getting together to develop supply zones. But uh, I think even Goldman said that this is probably just a bit of a rally here. We don't have anything sort of concrete to move these markets, you know, but we'll see. We can look to um, this does appear to be a bit of an impulse wave uh, coming into play uh, here as we were looking for. We were counting five waves up here. I don't know if it's connected to this wave four. That was the only issue, you know what I mean? Like in some sort of A, B and C over here for this. It's kind of got its own way, but we'll just be careful about this. We'll just see how this plays out and see how this um, how this moves back uh, into this into this space here. So this can move much lower, of course. So we'll just give it a little bit of time here. And we'll see what it looks like. I mean, it could just keep and come lower here, but we'll just see... <clears throat> we'll see what we get here. This looks like this could be an A and a B and a C coming down here, or it could be one and two and one and two. And so I don't know what we're going to get here just yet. Um, but yeah, if we get, we'll, we'll see how it goes first. Yeah. But in the meantime, we can put our first sort of line in the sand um, above this particular high here uh, based on that five wave move there. So we can, we can do that. But otherwise um, we'll try and find a better position on this we we'll put that at the 18 there let's just start uh, we'll just wait and see at this point with this yeah the u.s defense is um through through some of its sub companies are supporting the australian trying to save the australian nickel uh industry they've they've put 120 mil in through linus and probably do a few others as well but there's nothing concrete to take it anywhere at this particular point um the lme is not helping as well i mean they're owned by chinese now as well so they don't want to start up another uh, high quality um nickel uh contract either um rather than all that cheap stuff coming out of um Indonesia. Anyway, um, so I'll leave all that at that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.